welcome everybody back to my channel. Welcome my new subscribers, my returning subscribers, and anyone new who may be watching this video. So today we're going to be doing a channeled letter from your past on loved ones. So with the blue letter and with this green and reddish stone here, I'm not sure exactly what that one is, yellow letter, and this is with the blood stone. And the third pile is the green letter with the fluorite stone. So whenever you are ready, the timestamps will be in the description box below. Thanks. Welcome everybody who picked pile number one with this greenish red stone here and with this blue letter. So we're gonna see what uh, channel messages and stuff will come through from your past on loved ones today. So we have, all I can say is don't cry for me. I'm in a better place. It was so hard for me to say goodbye to you, but we knew it was my time to go. I am no longer in pain and I am at peace. Please kiss the dogs for me. I love you and I wish I could, help, could hold you one last time. Keep believing in yourself and never give up on your dreams. Love and miss you always. So what I am getting with this letter is I feel that it is someone's husband that had passed away. I feel that they could have passed away from cancer or of an illness, a terminal illness that they had. I feel when they were here, they had a lot of pain and suffering. I think it would come and go. And I know it was very hard for you to say goodbye to this person, but you couldn't stand to see them suffer any longer here. And it just caused you a lot of heartbreak. You guys could have also, like you said, you guys could have had kids together and you could have also had uh, two dogs I'm getting as well. So let's see what messages they have here for you. So it says, I am not dead. So I feel that with this person, that their favorite color could have been blue as well. I feel that they're always surrounding you. I feel when there's a lot of birds or doves or something maybe that are around you, that's him communicating with you. He said he's not dead. The energy still surrounds you a lot. Says there is no such thing as death. So I'm not sure if this person was a spiritual person and now he has reconnected to the other side. Maybe he was a very religious person too, that maybe when you crossed over, maybe if you're reincarnated, I'm not sure if he believed in stuff like that, but I feel that there, he had a lot of friends here when he was here on earth. And I feel that he was also met by some of his friends as well that may have passed before him. So it says, it is beautiful where I am. So where he is, he's at peace. He also, I feel that he could have really liked maybe going to the lake while he was here on earth. He loved watching sunsets with you and just making every day the most when he was here. Yeah, I am surrounded by loving animals. I feel that he really loved animals, this person that had passed away. Or maybe you guys have had pets that had passed away before and he is with them on the other side as well. Or you guys could have had like a bird here or even like I said, two dogs, even maybe a cat. Like I feel that he was really surrounded by a lot of, a lot of animals. So we have synchronicity. I feel that there's a lot of instances where you feel that he's around you and it's just not a coincidence that you see maybe you guys used to do a lot of things together and it always reminds you of them. Maybe they just keep repeating in your life. This is a sign that that's him. There's no coincidence here on this earth, I believe. If you either keep running into the same person or you keep seeing the same numbers, this is somehow they are communicating with you. So we have dream talk. I feel that this person connects to you a lot in your dreams. 
I feel that he maybe has come through to you and is maybe talking to you or giving you advice. He just wants you to pay attention to the dreams or the messages that he has in his dreams. So it says reach out. So he's saying that if you do need help, you can try to reach out to someone to help ease the pain that you are suffering after his loss. Like this has been really tough on you. And he knows that it's just, he feels very, very upset that he had to leave you that way. But he knows that he had to go as well. So you have a man holding a coin. This person may have also been in his 40s that had passed away. I don't feel that he was very old. Could He could have been 43 years old as well. I feel that he had such a huge heart for animals, for people in general. I feel that he was a very kind, down-to-earth type of person. He may have had a bit of longer hair as well. But he, you held the key to his heart. He loved you so much. And he doesn't want you to forget that. We have third chakra archangel Shemuel. He, you guys had a very great relationship, I feel. Like I said, if you were married to this person, you guys worked so well together. You guys really brought out the best in one another, I feel. And he is very proud that he got to spend this life with you. So we have door to value. So I feel too with this person, he brought so much happiness to your life. Maybe after his passing, maybe you got some money from him. Like, I don't feel that he's left you empty handed. Like I said, this person could have been, like I said, either between the ages of 31 and 43. Like I feel he wasn't very old when he passed away at all. And he just was just starting to begin his life and he's just very disappointed that he couldn't obviously share the rest of his life with you and the chin and the children so we have the sun card you guys had so much fun together here on earth he was so happy all the time he was so fun and loving to be around and he just brought out the best in people so we have the Queen of Cups. So I feel with this one, he was a very, he could have been a Cancer sign or Scorpio or a Pisces, like a water sign. He really maybe held his emotions or wore his emotions on his sleeve. He really talked and communicated about his feelings a lot. You may also have blonde hair as well, but he wants you to know that he, you were the light of his life. You were just so fun to be around. So we have the Page of Cups. So with this, he's letting you know that there could be an opportunity coming in for you. Something slower, but something good news is coming your way. So they want you to know that. So we have Manifestation. So, he, so like I said, keep believing in your dreams, keep moving forward because everything that you're going to want is going to manifest into your life. So we have empowerment. So he is going to help you on the other side here. He's going to empower you to be the best person that you can be. And he was like that here on earth as well. He's going to give you the power to keep going. So we have strength. So he is going to give you the strength to keep moving forward with your life and to bring out the best that he can in you. And just to know that you are very loved every day and he wants you to feel that way. He doesn't want you to cry for him or feel sad. He wants you to keep living life for you and the kids. So we have trust. He wants you to trust that everything is going to work out as, as it should. So just keep believing, keep having faith. So we have improving health. So maybe your health was not doing very good. And so he's just letting you know that things are going to improve for you. 
like just just maybe because obviously because of his passing you haven't been taking that great care of yourself and it, and maybe your health is declining a little bit but it's going to improve from here on in so just he wants you to know that i'm just going to pull some other messages here as well just to see if we could pick up anything else about this person So we have yellow flowers. So this person may have liked yellow flowers or there could have been yellow flowers at his funeral. This person could have also had black hair. It says crying. He, could, he knows that you are crying and, it, and you're really upset about his passing. And he sees that and he wants you to know that he wished that he could hold you right now and just tell you that everything will be okay. So we have sweet kisses. So he really used to maybe like to kiss you on the forehead and just tell you how much he loves you or sneak behind you. So yeah, has two dogs. So something with the dogs here for sure. And I feel that this person could have been muscular as well. He liked to work out. So I'm also gonna pull uh, some charms as well for you. So I feel that this person is watching you from above. He is your guardian angel. There are a lot of changes taking place in your life right now, but he's going to be opening up new opportunities for you as well, I feel. I feel that he really liked to maybe play sports. Maybe he liked tennis or badminton or something like that. Like I said, you guys definitely had pets together. He really liked music or you'll be hearing a lot of music that reminds you of him every day. He is your guardian angel. Like I said, he's always watching over you. I feel that you guys are so connected at the heart and you guys both really cared for each other equally in this life. And he wants you to know that he misses you and loves you and to always take care of yourself. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Welcome everybody picked pile number two with the bloodstone here and also the yellow letter. Let's see what channeled messages we can get from your past on loved ones today. I loved fishing and camping in the woods. I loved to go walking on trails and the smell of the fresh mountain air. I liked staying at the cabin for a few months just to clear my mind. The wilderness was my happy place. I will always miss your smile and your giant bear hugs. Green was my favorite color. Don't ever forget the great memories we shared through the years. Hold me close to your heart. I will miss you forever. So I definitely feel that this was a, a male that had passed away as well. I feel that he obviously really liked to enjoy the wilderness outside. He was a very earthy person, so he could have been a Virgo. I'm picking up as well. He was just a very, he was a very reserved person, I feel. Like he, he liked being around people, but he also liked to be on his own. It, just to clear his mind. And he really, I feel like he could have had a, a long beard, maybe a grayish color. His hair was a little bit longer as well, gray color. But he just had such a pure heart, heart of gold, that he would have did anything for anybody. He was the type of person, if you had a flat tire, he would stop and help you on the side of the road. Just a very loving, caring individual. It says, now I have no pain. This person may have suffered from arthritis, I'm picking up as well, that he maybe had a lot of pain in his knees. It says, believe in yourself, you can do it. He wants you to really know that no matter what goes on in your life, you have the power to believe in yourself and do anything that you want. He took a lot of chances in life too, I believe. Then maybe he sometimes felt like he failed and maybe what he couldn't do here on earth that he wants you to take more chances. 
It says, don't be afraid. Maybe he was the type of person that maybe he was afraid to take chances in life and he wished he could have did more here on earth than he had the chance to do. And he wants you to take more chances and just don't be afraid to take that chance, I feel. There could be rough roads ahead sometimes, but everything is going to work out for you as they should. I am here helping you. I believe that he is here helping you through life's journey and you know he's he, he doesn't want you to give up on yourself just keep moving forward keep believing and also to the color yellow he may have liked as well or also too that he could have been a very happy person as well his soul so I have stay connected I feel he wants you to still reach out to him, pray with him, pray to him, I mean, and just, you know, stay connected to him because he still wants that. You know, if you ever need help or have any questions, pray to him and he'll come and try to give you the answers through a dream or synchronicity or something. If you ask for something, he'll give it to you. So just take a moment. He wants you to take a moment to remember all the times that you guys had together. And maybe if you see a monarch butterfly as well, that's him coming through to you and letting you know that things are going to be okay. He just wants to spread that light around you to give you hope still that you could feel his presence in your life. So we have self-sabotage. So maybe he was the type of person that maybe he didn't like to go to the doctors all the time. And maybe that's why maybe his pain got really bad near the end with his arthritis. And maybe it started in his knees and maybe it eventually went throughout his whole body. And maybe that's why he liked to be isolated in the woods sometimes. So we have door to value. So I feel that this person, he really liked to help people with money. Like he was a very generous person, I'm feeling like he just really liked to give people an upper hand who were suffering here on this earth, like the homeless person. He'd give like 10 bucks, 20 bucks. He didn't like to see people starve. He tried to help humanity as best as he could while he was here. A man holding a coin. So I feel too with this person, he that was a very gen generous and caring person. Like he just, he worked really hard, I feel. Like, he, he, like I said, he worked so hard in his life for what he had. And he just wants you to know that hard work is sometimes what you need to do to succeed in life, to just keep going and push forward. So we have Fourth Chakra Archangel Raphael. So this person wants you to know that he's healing you from his passing. He's going to be with you and the Archangel Raphael is going to help you as well he's going to help you heal from this person's passing and i feel that this person too also going to been a very healing person as well he had that traits to help people and maybe heal them or maybe even just by talking to them heal them so we have judgment i feel that this person has had great karma coming to him i feel that they really put in the work here on earth that a lot of good things came to them. Or maybe they were very lucky here on earth as well. Maybe they would, even if they went, went put their draw in for a raffle, I feel that they could be very lucky in the Alawan a lot of times. So we have the high priestess. This person could have had a lot of secrets as well, as well here on earth that he never really discussed. Or he could have had extremely high intuition and he really read people very well that he he definitely maybe left some secrets behind until and that maybe you didn't realize about them until after he had passed away 
so we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So maybe this person had left you some money after they passed away and maybe that's the secret that you didn't know until he had passed away that you were in their will or something and he feels that maybe you were very a little bit surprised that they left you any money. So we have happiness. So this person wants you to know that he wants you to be filled with happiness. Like he's just really thinking of you and he wants you to have that happiness back in your life. Like this is maybe geared towards a, ne a niece. He's letting you know, like just be happy. Maybe you were very close to him. But like I said, a lot of butterflies is a significant. You maybe see blue butterflies. You might see monarch butterflies as well. So we have love. This person had so much love to give here on earth. Like he was just, or you were just so happy when you were in his presence. He was just such a kind spirit I'm picking up on. Then we have forgiveness. This person wants you to forgive them if they've ever hurt you in this life. He, he wants you to forgive them. You know, maybe... Maybe he's said things or done things in this life that he wasn't proud of, but he wants you to forgive them and to let that pass so, so he can rest. So we have peaceful resolution. So maybe this person, he tried to amend everything before he passed because he didn't want to have any regrets before leaving this earth. So maybe something was resolved. So it says wait. So maybe there's something that you've been asking about and they're telling you that you need to wait on this decision. Don't make a decision right now. They said, is there something that needs to be done first before a decision can be made? So just, he's telling you to just wait if there's something you're asking about. So we have, this person could have had black hair for some of them, for some of you. Uh, this person could also have gray hair, longer hair. So we have firewood. So definitely this person really liked to live in the woods and have lots of fire going. And he loved the, hair, the sound of crackling firewood, I get. Picnic. He liked to picnic in the woods quite a bit. Maybe you guys used to do that together. feel that this person was very fit maybe you should chop down wood in the as well and this also person could have also had blue eyes as well so I'm also going to pull some charms for you as well so I feel that this person was very wise he taught you a lot while he was here like I said the butterflies are significant he's your angel from above He's going to open up a lot of opportunities for you as well. You guys could have also went horseback riding here. He could have liked that as well. A lot of butterflies. Lots and lots of changes are coming. Look at all the butterflies. You're seeing butterflies are a huge significance, huge sign that he's around. He also could have maybe liked going fishing or he's letting you know that someone in your family might be coming pregnant. So just keep that watch out for. He's always going to point you in the right direction. If you need guidance, call upon him because he's going to be there for you. And then we have this toxic thing. He's letting you know that you need to get rid of this toxic person in your life and you need to let this person go because they're too toxic for you. He needs to point you in a different direction than the relationship that you're in right now. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Welcome everybody who picked pile number three with the fluorite stone and also the green letter. So let's just see what your channeled messages from your past on loved ones will be. I was a wonderful gardener. 
I had such lush and green flowers. I would be outdoors for hours enjoying nature. It was my favorite pastime. I had bad eyesight. I suffered with glaucoma, so I enjoyed every minute of my life. I miss the grandkids, especially my little Emily. Take care of the kids as I am okay where I am. Remember to smile and be happy. Love you to the moon and back. So I feel that this is definitely a woman that has passed away, a grandmother. And she really liked to be outside quite a bit. And just really loved spending time with her grandkids. And just even out at the lake, I feel as well, she really liked to garden. I feel that she was possibly maybe in her late 60s, early 70s when she had passed away. So she just wants you to remember. So maybe some of you may have a daughter named Emily as well. So just take that as it resonates. So it says here, I am so much better now. So maybe this person, like I said, since she maybe had suffered with bad eyesight, it was, she feels better now that she had passed away. Maybe she really liked rainbows as well. That's a, maybe she might bring you signs. If you see rainbows, that's how she knows that, that she's around. Like it definitely said she liked being at the lake as well. It says life is a series of choices. Choose love. So you may see some symbols in the clouds that may resonate with you. So maybe she really will send you heart-shaped clouds. You might see something. It's just sending you to know that she still loves and cares about you and thinks about you all day. So maybe if you are going through a hard time in your life right now, just always choose love and happiness, even though there, there may be some negative things happening in your life. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. Maybe she wasn't a very expressive person, but she had a big heart. She, maybe she didn't tell you enough that she loved you, but she wants you to know that she loves you. And she wished she would have told you how much more, how more often that. And you know, maybe that's what she maybe regrets in this life, that she should have told you more. It says the earth is our school. So maybe she was a very wise person here. Maybe she traveled quite a bit too while she was younger. She saw quite a bit of the world, I feel. She was a very intelligent person. So we have love. I feel that she just, she, was, she radiated love. Like she just loved, like there's a, just a lot of hearts around her. I feel like, you know, just she had such a big, big heart. You know, and like I said, hearts symbols are going to be a big significance to show you that she's around you all the time. She really loved life, I feel, as well, while she was here. So we have study. So some of you may be studying right now in school, I feel, and that she wants you to know that just keep going, keep fulfilling your dreams, and just always be happy and love one another. She's saying, and you know, Many opportunities are coming for you. Whoever is studying, maybe a girl with darker hair, maybe you might be studying, maybe a granddaughter. Maybe this could be Emily. But just remember, you have the opportunity. You have the knowledge to change the world, she's saying. So we have let go. So she wants, so this person may have also passed away in the fall time, I'm feeling, because with the red heart with the leaves, and the fall colors. I feel she may have passed away in the fall or fall could have been her favorite season as well. But she needs you to let go and let her rest in peace because you're still holding on to her passing. She wants you to let that go and try to be happy again and try to live life. So we have journey. Sometimes that you sometimes you just don't know what direction to take in life because this is could maybe took you for a curveball her passing as well like 
she may have had bad eyesight, but I feel that she could have passed away from something else. She could have suffered maybe a heart attack or something very sudden. And this took you by a real surprise too. And you're not too sure which way to, to go from here. Like it's just been a long journey for you since her passing, I'm feeling. So we have Forest Chakra, Archangel Raphael. I feel that she's here to heal you though. Like she wants to heal you from your hurt and your suffering and your crying that she had left. But she's, she wants you to know that she's at peace. You don't need to worry about her. She's more worried about you here that she had left behind. The garden and the gate. She knows that some of you are afraid to take that chance again and go out and enjoy life because maybe you know that she had passed away and you feel that sometimes it's not fair that you can continue living sometimes and it's hard for you to accept that it's for you know just to carry on without her I mean like you know it's sometimes it doesn't feel fair but you have to go see what's on the other side take that chance let go so we have the Eight of Wands. Like I feel that this person definitely traveled a lot. She went places around the world. And like I also feel too that whatever, how she passed it was very quick. So, and like I said, the problem with her eyesight. So we have the musician. Like I feel that she's telling you, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. So she wants you to keep believing yourself, keep going after your dreams and She's going to try to help you along this journey. So we have the tower. So there, like I said, it was quite the shock with her passing. Because this was a dramatic moment in your life that it had changed a lot for you. With, after she had passed away, because you guys were very close. So we have justice. She wants... Her herself, she may have, some of them, some, she could have been a lawyer. She could have worked in the, in the, with law too, as well. She just always wanted things to be fair for people. Like she just thought she wanted justice for every person. Like she didn't feel that if one person had more, the other person should have less. Like it's just, she wanted balance in her life and to really help people. So we have prosperity. She was, like I said, a very happy person here on earth. She just, she was so prosperous with love and her energy just radiated love. Like it's just, she was just a very wonderful human being. So we have psychic abilities. So your grandmother may have had some psychic abilities or you may have some psychic abilities. Maybe you can communicate with her through your dreams or maybe she's been guiding you somehow. But she's definitely had some gifts. So we have listen to your intuition. So she's letting you know that maybe there's something you've been deciding or can make a decision on. But she say, listen to your intuition, let that guide you because you know what the answer is. Just listen. So we have no. So whatever you're thinking about, the answer is no, that you shouldn't do it. She's just telling you to listen to your intuition. So this is a straight out no, you shouldn't be doing this. So she's just giving you a clear sign that something you shouldn't be doing. So we're just going to pull some messages here. So we have big heart. So this person had a really big heart. Like I said, there's something to do with the hearts. So outdoor field. So maybe she really liked to go outdoors. The yeah, I see a big field. Maybe she just really felt great in nature as well. So we have lives in another city. So she may have lived in another city when she had passed away. Maybe that's a regret that you have not, maybe even saying goodbye to her is what's holding you back. She 
could have had blue eyes as well. And she was very kind hearted. So she just uh, is all around great human being. So I'm going to pull some charms for you as well. So she is definitely an angel watching over you. That's it for sure. Butterflies are big significant. She may have also traveled, so she may have also liked elephants too. Butterflies are a big thing. She may have also liked horses. She's always going to point you in the right direction that you need to go. So if you have two choices, let her know. Maybe she'll guide you. Opportunities. Lots of opportunities are coming. She's going to be opening up doors for you. Some of you may find love. She's going to let work on something there for you. As well, uh, there could be three grandkids as well. I'm feeling that she may have had. But she's going to maybe find a soulmate for you coming in. So something to do with love. So keep an eye out here. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.